Hello everyone. Today's model question is regarding methane and the source of methane. Methane is a very powerful greenhouse gas which is having more greenhouse gas potential than even the carbon dioxide, right? So methane is a powerful greenhouse gas and has a warming potential that is significantly higher than carbon dioxide. In this context, which of the following is or are source or sources of methane? Okay, so this question is regarding the source or sources of methane. The first one, the domestic animals. Animal husbandry or livestock farming is one of the large or huge sources of methane emission. Uh, during the normal cycles of digestion, like the animals like uh, cow, goat or sheep, they emit large amount of methane, right? So you have to keep in mind the animal hus husbandry is one of the large source of emissions of methane, right? And another trivia which you have to keep in mind, the emissions from animal husbandry is not considered under the Paris Agreement, right? I hope everyone knows that the Paris Agreement is trying to limit the climate change, right? The impacts of climate change by reducing the carbon emission, right? In that regard, methane emission is causing a large amount of greenhouse effect. But even though the animal husbandry is a large source of methane emission, that is not being considered under the Paris Agreement, right? Now the second one, wetlands. Now wetlands means uh, like the biotic matter, they are covered under the water. In wetland regions, the, when the decomposition or the degradation is taking place, it will be degrading or decomposing without the presence of air or without the presence of oxygen or in other words you can say that anaerobic decomposition, right? Anaerobic in the sense, in the absence of air. So if the biological matter is decaying or decomposing without the presence of oxygen, it will result in the emission of methane, right? So again, the second one can is also can also act as a source of methane. And another point related with this is rice cultivation. Now, rice cultivation includes large amount of water logging, and which in turn results in the anaerobic decomposition, right? That can emit the, I mean, that can act as a source of methane. So, like animal husbandry or rice cultivation is a source of methane. Now, the third one, the coal mining, right? So, during coal mining. The as a direct and indirect result, right? The methane is emitted both as direct as well as as indirect effects. The methane is emitted, right? When the coal is extracted, right? In the certain the certain regions, right? The coal seam, so that mine itself will be having methane in it, right? So when we are extracting the coal, in turn the methane will be leaked, and that can act as a source of like the the methane, right? Then the one other one is uh, like the glacier melting. Now, during this, uh, I mean, during the formation of glaciers or the ice caps, it's believed like large amount of methane and other like carbon dioxide plus other gases, right? Greenhouse gases, they are trapped in this uh, glaciers, right? So, as an impact of climate change, when these ice caps and glaciers, when they are melting, right? When they are melting, these trapped, uh, trapped methane, it will be released further into the atmosphere, which can act as a source of methane, thereby in turn, acting as a resulting in greenhouse gas and climate change, right? So, among the options, right, all four will act as source of methane, right? And without knowing all the four, you will be able to get into the answer by applying elimination method. I am not going to that right now, okay? So, the source of all the four can act as the source of methane emission, like dom animal husbandry, rice cultivation or anaerobic decomposition, wetland, then coal mining and glacial melting. All four can act as source of methane. So here the answer comes out, comes out as D which is 1, 2, 3 and 4.